the European Regional Special Section is a special edition of the communications of the ACM, which is looking at all the groundbreaking work that is currently happening in Europe and Israel. This special issue has 11 hot topics and six big trends. And it tries to cover an array of innovations that are happening in Europe, from several papers on human-centric elements of AI, to quantum computers, novel interfaces, business process automation. The European Union has shown certainly leadership in this issue of privacy. Most influential has been probably the GDPR, which basically says that you are the owner of your data. The European Union is adopting a clear human-centric vision for AI. This is one of the key European values since the European Union was created. The goal is to develop technology that will help us, technology that will augment us, not to replace us, and to help every person and institution realize their potential thanks to AI. There's been a lot of investment by the European Union in the future of AI. It's looking at two different sides of it. One is about excellence and the quality of uh, AI systems. And the other part is very much looking at uh, trustworthiness. How do we make sure that people can work with systems that are transparent and fair to them? We report in this uh, RSS directives from four different angles. One is the famous uh, General Directive on Privacy Regulations. Another one is the GAIA-X initiative, which sets up infrastructure standards for Europe. The third one is in the field of AI regulations. And the fourth one, it's a network of uh, high-performance computing centers in the scientific sector. We have much research and industrial projects looking at the move from 5G to 6G, Industry 4.0, robotics, AI obviously, and a very interesting article on how we can do on-skin computing. The European strategy in the upcoming years, it has two very big focuses, which are the digital transition or the blue uh, transition and the green strategy, which is a transition focused on becoming carbon neutral and being as sustainable as possible. This is a key priority in Europe and it's also reflected in the special issue. We do have a paper on energy informatics. One of our challenges in computer science is to continue evolving as a field, but without having systems that are always more demanding in terms of resources. So we need to transform the way we think about our infrastructures. And one or two of the papers are actually looking at how we can integrate the infrastructures to support the efforts of Europe towards this Green Deal. Europe has been leading in the area of business process modeling. There have been two recent developments, both coming from Europe and both reported in the special issue. One is process mining. The other one is the automation of process executions so that humans don't have to do so much work. So this is called robotic process automation. The cultural and socio-economic diversity in Europe is uh, represented in this special issue by the diversity of topics and interests of the different researchers. Perhaps the articles will also spark new research and collaborations with European and Israeli scientists. I think that this special section provides an important insight in research, innovation and policy in Europe. I hope this regional special section will inspire the next generation of researchers in computing. My message is to encourage all the readers of the CACM to read this issue, to learn about what is happening in Europe and Israel. Everything we have here is very exciting. Mm -hmm.